Welcome to the Gamescape 2 Overview, Identifying and Overcoming Barriers. Once again, we begin with the door puzzle to prove our dedication as Dr. X's apprentice. Remember, if you have trouble with the puzzle, you can click Hint or you can bypass the puzzle and begin the activity. Just as you did in the first Gamescape, you want to make sure that you explore the lab and click on everything. It is important to remember that the thought meter increases as you look at everything in the lab. Your critical thinking journal is also essential in this episode. You will be working with different critical thinking barriers and they can get confusing. You will have the various definitions available in your journal. Be sure to read your journal carefully and refer back to it frequently throughout the activity. In this episode, you are introduced to the puppeteer theory. This is where Dr. X explains that there are external and internal barriers influencing us all the time. These influences are like a puppeteer pulling the strings of the puppet, and the puppet is all of us as unreflected thinkers. Let's look at these different barriers and how they influence us more closely. The external barriers that are influencing us are family, friends, authority figures like teachers, doctors, and the media. Internal barriers are self-serving bias, self-concept, emotional influences, and ego defenses. These are the barriers that you will be working with in the activities for this gamescape. Observe this theory and these influences in action. Dr. X sends you on a time travel mission to observe a subject named Dr. Anna Guerra at critical stages in her life. It is your job to identify when she is engaging in each of these barriers. Remember to use your thought journal for definitions of each barrier. After you have finished observing Dr. Guerra, the next activity is the barrier quiz. Here you have four statements to select from. You are to identify which statement matches the barrier. For example, the barrier here is enculturation. Let's first review what enculturation is by looking at our thought journal. It states, Enculturation includes how we are raised in our family, our work environment, our cultural values, religious beliefs, ethics, prejudices, and stereotypes. We have four choices of statements. 1. Of course, all people should be treated fairly, but would you trust a female firefighter rescuing you from a fire? 2. If you tell people what you really think, they'll take advantage of you. 3. The argument with my instructor was worth it. I got my essay grade raised from a B to a B plus. Four, he is the laziest guy I know. Why did he get that promotion? We can see that the first statement starts by discussing fair treatment, but includes stereotype of female firefighters. This is an enculturation statement. You will continue to answer more questions like this about self-serving bias, self-concept, emotional emphasis, emotional influences, and ego defenses. Our barriers activity is not over yet. You will now use the time machine to help a 40-year-old man, Kaylin, who is in trouble due to lack of critical thinking skills. The opportunity comes in the form of a do-over game. Your score is based on the quality of guidance within difficult decisions and how well you deal with the unexpected chance of the cards. The object of the game is to use one or two cards and beat the influence power of the challenge card. You have four different cards to select from, family, authority figures, media, and friends. You want to make sure that you follow the trump rules and that the influence power of your card is more than the challenge card so you can win the hand. If you play your cards right, you can make a significant and positive influence on the outcome of Kaylin's life. Just as in Episode 1, this Gamescape activity has two reflection questions for your thought journal. The first question asks you to reflect on different decisions you have made in the personal, professional, or academic aspects of your life. The second question asks you to think about decision making in relation to social barriers. Congratulations on completing your second Gamescape activity. As always, if you have any questions about this overview or the activity, please don't hesitate to message or call your instructor for help. We look forward to seeing you next week for Episode 3.